Hi, my name is Amiya. I am at Karen. Karen's are a minority ethnic group from Burma. Minnesota is the majority largest population for the Karen from Burma. And we have about 12,000 Karen refugees population. And Minnesota is more like home for them. One of the reasons I choose Minnesota to see my culture, my food, and getting all the resource and benefit I needed for the first time of my resettlement in this country until I became independently engaged in this society. A refugee can go through all these life changes adjusting to the new country without getting all these appropriate resources. It is very difficult and very hard for us. Sometimes people do not know the Quran and they don't understand the culture or the background to communicate and to be able to understand the Korean people. I came to the United States in 2009 and my life was very challenging. I was educated, born and raised in Burma. Then the reason I left my country, Burma, it's my father used to be a peacemaker for all ethnic minorities, leaders in Burma. So my life was in danger, so I have to come this country, seek for the refugee immigrant status. I was secretly living in Burma for my entire life, and I have a different name, and I was born and raised under a different family because I was not able to tell my real parents' name. I could be captured or torture or physically or mentally abused or torture if they found out I was the daughter of my father. I've been taught from my grandparents and and my parents not to told about my family history. That that is very danger dangerous for my life to tell my story to people. So my life was very unusual. <laughs> I graduated from Burma with a social work degree and after my final years then the Burmese military find out I was the daughter of my father and my father was one of the most wanted people in the top 10 list so they tried to arrest me and try to capture me but I was able to escape just in time and I escaped from Burma to Thailand and the spy and people were searching with weapon and I have my other friends who are a member of the peacemaking process so I was able to escape with other friends and we were hidden under a bed in the, one of the hotel bedrooms in the city in Thai Burma border area. Then we were paying money to the hotel owner not to disclose any information about us and we hear they were coming to search us downstairs and I was very frightened. It was a very scary moment and we were very lucky. The next morning, I we have somebody to came rescue us to Thailand. So my father sent a few men to escort us. So this is how I was able to safely move to Thailand to my parents. When I got to Thailand, my father introduced me with his friend called Dr. Cindy Yama, who is a Korean doctor who is currently providing free health care to immigrant refugees along Thai Burma and border area. So I was doing all these volunteer work as a midwife, nurse educator, counselors at the clinic with Dr. Cindy Yama. First, when I applied, as a refugee immigrant in the refugees camp, I have many options to go to different countries and I realized that United States is the country who accept more refugees from Burma. So I think United States would be a good option for me to start a new life. My mission is to be educated in this country and I'm currently taking licensed clinical social work with Metropolitan State University and I'm also a social worker at the Ramsey County serving Korean new refugee Korean populations. 
with your medical and mental health needs. There are so much need that the Koreans are struggling and there is no culturally appropriate service does not exist for this community yet. So I have seven um, board members who are willing to establish the organization called KHSC Korean Human Service of America. So finally in 2014 we legally established 501c3 nonprofit organization for the Korean community. I had a legacy to carry for my father. I always wanted to become something bigger than myself. So I always do volunteer work in my lifetime.